you are enough and everything you do belongs here. I am a poor wayfaring stranger. Hi, <laughs> my name is Jeffrey Solomon. I go by Smile and Death uh, for my visual art and music. Um, I am a multidisciplinary artist, uh, born and raised in Atlanta. Traveling through. My style is accepting. It's lowbrow. It's honest. I'm a multidisciplinary artist. So I tattoo, I paint, I draw. I love embroidery. I love working on fabric. I like dyeing fabric. I like sewing clothes. Um, I love wood. I love carving with wood. I love uh, building out of wood. I like metal. I like, uh, you know, making structures out of metal. Uh, there hasn't really been a material I've found that I don't like. I'm also a musician. I was classically trained for a number of years. Uh, now I'm a folk singer. I'm a singer-songwriter. Um, I sing about my life. I sing about my times. I think sing about the things I believe in. There's no sickness, toil, nor danger in that bright land to which I go. I'm also a tattooer. Um, that's my day job, is uh, tattooing people. So I will um, put out a whole ton of different designs and then people choose what they resonate with, what they'd like to have on their body. And then we get to work out um, how they would like that laid out on their form for the rest of their life. All of my art is interconnected. So all of these practices influence one another. I think the most direct way that my music is affected by my visual art is by my style. And by that, I mean my lack of pretentiousness. I want my music to be accessible. I want it to be honest. I want it to be authentic. Um, and when I work from that kind of place, it can't help but create a tone that is authentically Jeffrey. Um, my artwork shares, all of my artwork shares in this style that is just imbued with my being, with my perspective, with my values, with my experience. Um, and that's unavoidable in all of my art forms. And that's what I seek to foster in all of my art. That voice of Jeffrey. I would describe my style as queer folk art. Um, it is unpretentious. It is art for the people. Um, it comes from a very honest space. Uh, I am a queer Southern artist. So all of my perspectives are influenced by that. Um, what it means to be raised in a Christian family that I was an outsider, you know, a secret outsider to for, for you know, my whole childhood, my whole coming up. Um, then to my adolescence, discovering my community, finding my place in it. Um, and then to my adulthood, uh, fostering that, creating communities where other people can show up as who they are, um, even if they weren't accepted as kids. My brand is called Smile and Death. Smile and Death is a moniker I picked up in 2017. I was uh, living with two other artists in Old Fourth Ward while I was going to school um, who had gone through a lot of loss in that uh, last year. We had all gone through a lot of loss. And uh, that really galvanized our relationship. Um, and I was talking to one of my roommates, Randall, and uh, he was talking about the beauty in death, the joy in death, the, the life-affirming qualities that death can bring, that, that living with grief can garner in you. Um, and he said the term, smiling death. Um, and at that time, I was drawing just tons and tons and tons of skulls with these big, ghoulish smiles. Um, and it clicked. I was like, oh, that's, that's the practice. That's what I'm doing. Smiling death. Going there 
see my daddy. It has been said that art comes from either light or shadows. Where does your art come from? Well, the interesting thing about dichotomies is they are a construct. <laughs> There's not like light and darkness. Um, shadows are a consequence of light. <laughs> you know, those two things are inextricable from one another. Uh, and that's where my work comes from. I have gone through a truly incredible amount of loss and grief in my life. Um, and I've had to find that spark, that joy, that reason to live. Uh, I found it in my practice and in, in creating. Um, so although my art is born out of darkness it is light it's that candle in the shadows um the world is a dark place and if we forget that we are being complacent to even more darkness coming in and hurting people hurting others um However, if you just open your heart and, and have empathy without boundaries, it's self-destructive. You're going to kill yourself. So you need to find a balance there between the shadows and the light, between reality and an imagined ideal. We need to fantasize. We need to create a better world. Uh, but we can't do that without recognizing and being aware of that darkness. You are enough and everything you do belongs here. My work strives to bridge the gap. Go in there, no more to roll. I don't want to make good art. I don't want to make perfect art. I don't want to make nice art. Um, I don't want to make technically savvy art. I want to make art that's honest. And to be honest, there's a lot of darkness in my personality. There's a lot of darkness in this world. There's a lot of grotesque nature to our reality. Um, and I want to make space for all of that in my work. I want to make space for where all of Jeffrey to fit in. So I can inspire someone else to be like, oh, yo, Jeffrey's living authentically. I can live authentically. Like, hell yeah, that ignites a fire in our society. Um, cause colonialism tells us we gotta be good. We gotta be perfect. Consumerism tells us we're not enough. We need to buy shit. This work is, is a salve for that. It's a medicine for that. Just a go in over Jordan. I believe that our society is very sick right now. We have a very unhealthy relationship with the world, with our humanity, with each other, with dying. We are an eternal springtime cancer growth. You know, like, there's never time for rest. There's never time for death. Shove the old people into houses. Let them die quietly and away from us. Keep the sick away from us. We've got a GDP to grow. My artwork is taking that loss, that queerness, that grotesqueness, that humanity, and painting it all friendly-like. Painting it in a way that people won't necessarily notice how um, dark the message can be. I am just going over her home. The darkness and the light within us because we're whole that's what smile and death is here to do thank you